world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Subsistence on my hardcore playthrough. And as you can see, the hunters are attacking my base again. They have not stopped. They are on a mission to tear that thing apart. I have spent two full days in the game off camera getting stuff ready. And those hunters are attacking every day, at least two groups. They are like a hornet's nest, but they have not stopped me. Yes, boys and girls, I am just about ready. I think I want to make one more thing, the animal housing. Now, I've already taken apart most of that base. And I believe I am ready to dismantle the majority of the remainder of that base. Let's go ahead and butcher up the rabbit. Ooh, I need to make some more fire starting kits. Just to be on the smart side. I also... Where's my supplies? Oh, there they go. You can see I've got a good store of cloth up. Wolves, rabbits, mainly a lot of rabbits, to be honest. But yeah, I'm just about ready to put all this stuff up. And I'm pretty solid on how the base looks right now. I still want to do an actual roof up here, but I'm gonna hold off and see how the hunters start attacking this place. Question is, I'm gonna need more than one BCU. I should just go ahead and get that made. Wood. I'm definitely in the wood right now. I have got it. Nails are a little, you know, it's better than what it was, but because you get that back when you take stuff apart. One of the things I'm definitely getting short on now is scrap metal. I think three more should be good. Drop those there. I have to get this place reorganized. The organization over here is very good. I'll admit that. But once I get all the pieces put in place, that should get better. One. So I'm gonna be putting a BCU, I think on this wall right here, which should cover most of this area. And then I'll need a BCU down here on the corner of the pier, I think might be a good place to cover this lower area. I'm hoping two will do it. We'll have to wait and see for sure. And I haven't decided if I want to reset the hunters on this world or just turn the base on and let them start experiencing the space from afar. I'm not sure yet. Questions, questions, questions. You know, I might try to do both. Get this this house set up and then go destroy the BCUs at the old place. And let's see how my hunters react to that. Now, I still have a lock pick on me. I have not seen a locked chest anywhere. Bloodstalker's video from yesterday, that guy found three, three locked chests. Didn't open any of them, but. I understand the reasoning too, but yeah, he found three block chests in one day and I haven't seen a lock chest in four or five game days at least. And that is the first time I have exited that area was not being chased by uh, something, either a bear or a wolf, usually a bear too. Oh, don't try to make a run at night. 
Oh my lord, I ran to my old place at night. That one was a little more straightforward, but I had a lot of animals chasing me. I spent the entire day over there taking stuff apart and building stuff and, you know, actually almost two days over there doing that. And then I said, you know, I really wanted to start the next episode, this one right here, back at my new place at Cove Hold and lo and behold I got chased the entire way there it just really sucked and I actually got lost I ended up near the fence line I, I finally figured out the right way to go but I had like two wolves on me and I ran into the fence Fortunately, I, re I reacted well, but I thought I was heading right toward the river, and instead I was ha heading that way somehow. I got completely turned around. If it wasn't animals that were pushing me from one side to the other and making me go places I didn't want to go, there was a hunter camp that was literally right above my old place, across the way on top of the, the hill that I look over when I step out of the house. That didn't help either. Oh, 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 oh. Man, this, because of those trees, this looks so different. I didn't know I was coming up on the hunters already. I'm gonna go this way around this bear. Level two bear. Can I, can I have this? Oh, would that be okay? Now, my medical supplies are a little low. Those have been lacking. I've been avoiding the hunters pretty good for the last 48 hours. And I'm hoping on this run to avoid them as well. I should have the mass I need to make an animal housing. And then I think I think I'll go ahead and dismantle the BCUs over here. Which means we go back to the new base and put BCUs up over there. Yes, yes, Mr. Bear, I, I hear you. Here, have a tree. I'm trying to rub them off on a tree. Sometimes it, I don't think it, it actually helps, but it seems that if I kind of dodge in and out of the trees, I can get them to let go a little sooner. Doesn't always work though. Worked enough. Yes, I know I have a floating BCU, but that's just a temporary thing. All right, are you done? All right. Yep, I have what I need. Animal housing. Don't worry. I made sure to leave the supplies around that I would need to do this. Once that is made, you're getting deleted. I think I'm going to leave that one there for a day or two until I'm fully set up and I've got everything moved over and then I'll delete that one. Animal housing, sweet. Delete. Now, that one's still gonna make mass and power. I could come back there and utilize that mass and power if I choose to. Oh, what's in the most important? I think. I'll leave that stuff. And then, whoops, stay off the stairs. Don't wanna get that bear after me if I can help it. And take that stuff with me. Take the feathers to make arrows and stuff. Go ahead and keep that. That. Keep that. 
Not good because I don't have any other supplies with me. Let me grab that. Alright, it's full up. Bears walked on. Now one. Whoa. Bugged out hunter. No. I do not need to mess with the hunters right now. I'm going to be disciplined today. I said I wasn't going to screw with the hunters. Even though he's bugged, I'm going to leave him sitting there bugged. Now, it'd be kind of cool if the bear would attack him. I'll sit there and eat some popcorn and watch that action. That'd be fun as hell. But my goal today is I really want to get Cove Hold established. I want to get equipment put down. And I figure we're due for a building episode in this series. So we're going to have it. Well, if everything works out, we're going to have a building episode. I mean, this is hardcore. I could die even before I get back to my place. I'm hoping not, but you never, ever know. Blueberry that I just dropped. So I have no room to carry it. And will it stop me from trying to pick stuff up? Of course not, because this is subsistence, and this is what you do in subsistence. Run and grab. It doesn't matter if you can't pick it up or not. Oh, God. All right. You, I see. I'm going to turn him this way. All right. I think I've got... I can split these two, and I should be all right. Now, one thing I definitely want to do, I did it again. I want to build a bridge across this little river right here. I have a suspicion that going across the river, we are slower and animals aren't hampered at all. It's a theory though. It didn't feel like I was any slower. I mean, if I'm completely honest, that felt just like normal. Now, I do want a bridge going from my house to the peninsula, from the peninsula across the, uh, the lake to the other shore. I think that would be smart, but that is gonna take a while. And you think, wow, it's quiet over here. Usually I run into a bear, so that's actually pretty cool. That makes me happy. Where's the fire still going? Cool. Drop off a canteen. Every time I every time I can, I'm always uh Butchering a rabbit because I need to go off. Oh, I keep forgetting to move it over here. And for right now, I'm just gonna stick all this in here and organize it later. Animal housing will go there. Boards away. I'm doing really good on boards. Most of that came from apart my old place. I mean, seriously, most of it came from there. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I like the vertical storage of ammo and weapons now. I, I started that on my softcore playthrough and I like the way that it works. I like the way she works it. Yeah, I'm not going there. Do, 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 do. Perfect. All right. Fire starting pits. I said I would make a few. Let's make these all into sticks. I'll only make five. Perfect. And I'll take a canteen with us. We're gonna buy, we're gonna, I'm thinking I'm gonna run back and grab me more stuff. 
But instead, let's do it. Let's actually get this place set up. All right, so my first BCU over here, I want on this wall. Actually, no. I don't want it on that wall. I need to make... Let's, I'm gonna be smart about this. Maybe not smart, but I'm hoping I'm being smart about this. I think I'm gonna make my first BCU down here. Close enough to the to the shore to uh, attract. Oh, wait a minute! If I do it here, the hunters are going to be attacking my solar panel area, which of course I don't want. Hmm. Okay. Let's rethink this. Because that's supposed to be my solar panel and my planting area. If I put the primary BCU here, they're going to be attacking it directly. Which definitely will not be cool. I could put it on this wall. And... They could attack from the land here. It gives them an actual target. But will the bubble reach all the way over that? I don't think it will. Now, we'll stick it here like I thought about before. We'll just stick it right here. I want to make it level with that window and put it right in the middle. Mostly in the middle. Oh, hold. Perfect. All right. Now I need to put a second one. Oh, oh. Let me grab something to see how far this goes out. Maybe I don't need a second one down there. Actually, no, I won't. All the way to that corner is already covered. One BCU? That would be awesome. I've never been able to do a base, spread everything out with only one BCU before, but okay, I'm not going to complain. Let's get some solar panels out. Now this isn't the final placement. I might be doing uh, something similar to what I, uh, my staircase, put a, a staircase foundation down and just stacking the, the solar panels on that. But that'll be something down the road. 100% light, 55%. That's because of the rails. All right. Let's flip it. Flip it there. 55%. 100%. See, the planter's very, very picky about placement. Let me... Alright. We are going to move it. I was afraid the planter would have a problem down here. See, only 70% light. Yeah, I, I was worried about that. I wasn't sure if it was going to be an issue or not. Stick it over there, and then I'll bring it upstairs. That's why I had the upstairs part. You know, I thought that I might. I was hoping I wouldn't need to. 15% light. Oh, that's a lot worse. All right, let's take it up here. Put it right in the middle. Still only 70% light. I think this is something Cole Games needs to work on. 
say there's no way that that should be getting 55% light. Okay, so... Best way to take care of this. Well, I have a technique that usually works, but it's not guaranteed to try it. It worked on Frost Home when I did it there. Let's see, a uh, half. Need a half ceiling. And another quarter wall. don't need it, but, you know, I prefer it to actually have support. Do I want to put it down there or leave it up here? Let's try to get it, let's try to build this down below and see if it works. I guess worst case scenario, I could take the railings off and down there, but I think the railings give it some class. I like the way the railings look down there. But, you know, if it's not going to work, it's not going to work. See what I mean about attacking my base? Look at that. I haven't bothered them in over two days, and they're still attacking me continuously. Now, what I don't want to do is mess with the solar panels that are already in position. Oh no, this isn't gonna work. I was afraid of this. It works there, but that's not the way I want it to go. Ah, uh, this might work. Let's try this. All right, this should get it up above the railing and it should give me a full light. Now, it's getting a little late, so... 100% light. Okay. So, I could raise this up. And one or two plant beds could sit here. I mean, that it works. It's not the greatest, but at least my plant bed's at 100% now. And these are still 100, right? That didn't obstruct anything? Nope. Okay, so I'm good on that. Awesome. Next, let's get the animal housing put down. Animal housing. And I'll grab everything else too. Workbench, recycler. All right, animal housing. My idea was to stick it over here. Trying to give the chickens as much room as possible. That works. They should be able to move from there. Let's see, where I want to put... The eyesore. I think this will be a good area for workbench and those type of items. Dump the recycler next to it for now. No, come here. Now this, I'll get out of here and upstairs possibly. But way over here in the corner. I mean, this might be a bad position. These are kind of cheap, so if it gets busted by the, the hunters, I'll just make another one. I'm not going to cry about that. All right, time's starting to run out. I need to get moving. Refinery is gonna be right next to here because this is right where supplies are at. Perfect. It's getting dark. Hold on a second. Boom. Oh, that's probably bright, but it is getting dark real quick. All right. 
God, this stuff is just an eyesore. Okay, mass, I'll store down here. And you know what? I can put power and mass right here. I mean, yeah, it does get high, but it's covered. Okay, actually, I like that. It wasn't what I was originally going to go for, but I think that works. Hold on a sec. It's a little too bright. Gamma 3. Okay, that works a little bit better. Let's see if there's anything else. I, all I have now is just extra BCUs. I mean, I really wish I could put that animal housing a little bit further over. But this centralized... I think that actually works. I don't think there's much room I have to move this. That gives, I'll give them less room than when they're down over here. Maybe that's a rock. All right, well, that has to work like that. And then that gives me a, a spot for the wellhead because the wellhead's going to go in this corner as well. Now, I should be making power. Cool. Just a little bit. Solar panels are starting to lose power. Ha <laughs> ha Lock pick. Um, why did this give me a lock pick? I'm not on a multiplayer world. I'm on a solar po uh, solo player world. And I already have a main BCU down. The old one. And it's still there. And even so, I shouldn't be getting a lock pick right now. Um, okay. Let me try something. Okay, no lockpick in that one. Figure since I was doing this testing, maybe I can position this into a better position. I don't want it sticking up out. I just want it. Really wanted it out of that corner. There we go. Um, I'll just leave it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this because that was just a test piece here. I want to make sure that, make sure there's no. Okay, there's no pick in there. I do not know why I got that second pick. That shouldn't have happened. But I'm not gonna throw the pick away. It, it's not like I did anything to to make it happen. So I got two extra BCUs that. I am not going to use right now. It really looks like I have got a perfect placement on the BCU that I don't actually need more than one, which I'm happy about. Seriously, that is just awesome. Okay, guys and gals. Oh, oh, I see Hunter Fire over there. But that's for another day. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on a hardcore playthrough. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.